Hello everyone, I am Linda, I'm a barge captain and I have been working in uh, Emayagi Barge Society over seven years. Emaya Barge Society was founded uh, in 2004 by a group of friends who met in university and uh, their objective was to uh, restore this uh, specific type of uh, ship that only sailed in this area. And the uh, ship was a barge. Over 600 years, uh, a barge has sailed in this area, imported and exported everything that Tartu uh, people needed and they vanished uh, in the Second World War. So this uh, group of uh, students, uh, one day uh, they were sitting uh, next to the river and uh, thought that something cool and historic should uh, sail in those waters. And next day they had to go to the university and uh, study. And of course, how better to procrastinate than uh, to start looking up old pictures of Tartu. And uh, whenever you open up a catalogue of pictures that have a river on it, you can see a lot of barges. They founded the NGO, Emayagi uh, River Barge Society. It's a non-governmental, non-profit uh, organization that has a goal of uh, restoring and uh, maintaining the history of inland waters. And uh, the first and only barge at the, in the world at the moment, Yomo, was launched in 2006. So it took uh, around two years and the uh, help of over 150 people. Uh, I think over the years Yomo has uh, kind of become a symbol of Tartu. Uh, in many uh, booklets, many pictures, the, we, we have seen uh, there's a picture of university, the kissing students and often Yomo as well. So I think it has uh, over, uh, it, it has reached the international uh, uh, waters uh, by its fame and also actually it has been once in uh, Sweden and once in uh, Russia. Yomo was launched in 2006 and uh, after that uh, there uh, was an idea that uh, Hanseitic uh, barges uh, sailed here uh, 600 years ago but before that there were Viking ships so um, idea came to restore one Viking ship that was made after a replica in uh, Finland because in Estonia we didn't had uh, Salme foundings yet. Uh, and after that it turned out that the Iron Fleet, the uh, old uh, historic island Iron Fleet of Tartu needed saving, the uh, big ships that we still had. And uh, because of that, the over 100 years old treasure Babesi 1 was restored, uh, passenger ship Vanemuine, uh, is almost restored, the hull is complete but uh, needs some work inside and also uh, the last one that we restored was in 2018, a uh, uh, sand barge uh, coit. So these three ships are our iron fleet and at the moment we are building a bigger two-masted barge. Hello, my name is Kaupo Rosenkran and uh, I'm one of the main shipbuilders here. It's uh, 23 meters long and uh, almost 9 meters wide. Uh, Yomu is uh, half of that 12 meters long and uh, 7 meters wide, so it's quite a lot bigger. Uh, the area is a lot bigger than twice, I think, if you calculate it. So that's, that's the main difference and uh, that uh, in itself brings a lot of uh, difference in differences into the building process also because the materials are so much bigger. We have to uh, carry them with, uh, with cranes and stuff. We cannot just uh, throw them in the ship by hand and stuff. So that, that would be the main difference. So now we have come to the inside of the new ship. And uh, one of the latest and biggest uh, things uh, that uh, is definitely worth mentioning is the Kielsen, uh, which is uh, all in one piece. Uh, we have uh, basically cut out all the tenons 
and uh, we are just getting ready to install it. It's gonna be painted uh, on the on the side, and then we will flip it and install it. So it's it's quite a big big piece of timber. So it's really interesting to work with it. Uh, here we can see tons of uh, black stuff that uh, that we used to uh, fill the cracks in the kilsen since it, it was a uh, one big uh, single piece of timber so it uh, had uh, huge cracks and we filled the cracks with a uh, mixture of uh, bitumen and uh, pine tar. It's 60% bitumen and 40% tar. The frames in this ship uh, are laminated uh, since uh, it has uh, very many frames and they are really really big and you cannot really find the timbers to cut them out of uh, single pieces of wood. Uh, actually, you can find pieces of wood like that, trees growing uh, crooked and stuff, but uh, you cannot uh, take them down in the places where they are crooked. And where, where, they, where you can uh, take trees, uh, they usually are really, really straight trees only. So here we laminated them uh, using uh, pine and uh, large uh, laminates and uh, we uh, connected them with uh, epoxy. We built a big press to uh, press them into shape and then we uh, made them uh, to fit the hull later. Another weird feature of these kinds of ships is that uh, since it's so round in the middle and we only have so much space on the uh, stern post and bow post, uh, we have to make uh, the planks alternate so uh, they, they don't take uh, place uh, away from the stern post. For example, right here you can see this plank came from the bow, from the bow post and uh, it disappears between two planks here. Uh, as far as we know, it's not used on any, any other kind of ship, this kind of building technique, but uh, on uh, those uh, ships it was used. We have the basic uh, layout of the inside of the ship uh, planned, but uh, it, uh, will, uh, the final uh, layout will, uh, will come to us when we are starting to make it. Uh, but uh, the, I think the main, main part of the inside of the ship is going to be the big, big hall in the middle uh, where tradi traditionally they would have uh, held the cargo. Uh, right now we are going to make it so uh, people can be there, uh, parties can be held, there's going to be uh, tables and, and uh, chairs so, so we can make concerts there, for example. There's also going to be a fireplace so you can keep the inside warm. It's gonna be a really, really big room. No one really knows how difficult uh, commanding this ship will be, how difficult it will be to steer, because no one has uh, actually uh, driven one in a very, very long time. We don't have any uh, live captains uh, remaining. So uh, we, we only can assume that it will be quite difficult. And since we are uh, not uh, going to haul uh, cargo with it. We are actually going to make uh, rides for people. It has to be really, really safe. Uh, so we will have engine on it, an engine, and uh, actually a bow thruster also, which is quite a modern thing. It will be quite, uh, quite interesting to install it on such an historic ship. To build the new two-masted barge, uh, we needed uh, a barge hall where we can build it. And uh, Tartu city government commissioned uh, this uh, barge house where we are at the moment and uh, leased it for 10 years to uh, Emma ja Elodia Selts. And uh, we make uh, different kind of tours here. Uh, we have uh, children making uh, barge models. We have Christmas parties, we have birthday parties, all kind of um, uh, events uh, where we can uh, uh, make money with renting out rooms uh, so we could build the new barge. And also we use the ships that we already have. We make uh, different kind of uh, trips and uh, all this income goes into building or restoring uh, new old ships. Barge hall uh, consists of three buildings. We have a sauna house, a shed hall and the main building. 
So at the moment we are in uh, the conference room uh, in the main building. We have a cafeteria here and the seminars can take place in that side. This is our shipbuilding uh, uh, hall. So at the moment it's uh, complied with the shipbuilding, but uh, we have made a bigger parties here. Uh, up until uh, 300 people can actually sit in uh, round tables before we had the new barge. And uh, when it's completed, we can uh, host bigger events here again. Uh, but this year we have the chance of having parties inside the big barge. So at the moment we are building, but when we have special events, we make it uh, uh, we make the new barge a big inside party room. And uh, this is our wood workshop. Uh, currently it's used to host parties, up to 60 people. So we have had here uh, weddings, birthdays, uh, company events, and uh, also different kind of bands and dance music. And uh, in the future we can host smaller events here and bigger events in the big uh, shipbuilding hall. I definitely hope to uh, continue working here because uh, I have heard there are other ships planned already. Uh, when it's going uh, to happen, I don't know, hopefully soon. Uh, but uh, after this ship, I think uh, the next uh, project will be to restore Yemu. So I think I can continue here.